Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for viewing Lydia's Insights. And now for Lydia's introduction. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. A bunch of pizzazz and all that jazz. Woo! Okay, so if you watched the last one I did, then you know that this is a new thing I'm trying. Once again, I'm just learning as I go to see what I like. And I had, it had been suggested to me one time to, um, to see if I could do that sprinkle, 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 sparkle, 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 um, and editing, like maybe this was my own idea. But I could see like if I could put the sprinkles and sparkles like coming from my fingertips, that would be kind of cool, right? Well, we'll see. One day, possibly. Okay, so what I want to share with you today, I want to read from this book. Um, can you see that? Dr. Carolyn Leaf, Switch on Your Brain Every Day. And I'm going to read um, part of day 113. All right. So the verse that she uses right off, because um, that's how it goes. Bible verse, then brainy tip. And I'm just going to share with you like the first paragraph that she says. So the verse, God saw everything that he had made. And indeed, it was very good. That's Genesis 1, 31. Then the brainy tip that she has is science confirms you are not a mistake. So if you were thinking you're a mistake, well, think again. Because no two brains from the structural level to the quantum level are the same. There is no quote unquote normal. There is only unique. So we're all unique. Like, I as of yet seen anyone do sprinkle, 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 a sparkle, sparkle, sparkle for an introduction. So, so, so definitely my brain is showing that I am definitely unique. And I am grasping and holding on to that uniqueness. And then here's her first, inter her first paragraph that she talks about. Operating in your in your unique way of thinking, feeling, and choosing, or what I call your perfect you, is a way for you to celebrate who you are. In a world where we are often told that we are not worthy, or we do not live up to a particular standard, that we are not quote unquote normal, this celebration is critical. The whole day 113 is just spectacular. I highly suggest if you do not own Dr. Carolyn Leaf, switch on your brain every day. I highly suggest that you invest in this great book. Um, it's part of my daily reading. Those of you that have been viewing this since the beginning, then you probably know that I do quite a few books besides my Bible reading. In the morning is this a daily selfish sacrifice that I have to do to be what I feel that helps equip me to be the best me. And yes, it is for selfish reasons because without me doing that first thing in the morning, I just don't feel good. So I have to. And with that, beautiful people, um, where I live, it's really smoky. Uh, the reason being is because there's a lot of fires um, near us where we live. So let's keep those people in prayer. Um, all the people that's lost their homes and the firefighters. And you know, everyone, there's so much going on in this world. Um, tragic. And things are, it's, everything that I have seen is just one tragic, one thing after the other. Um, and if you haven't realized yet that we're in a battle, this life is, it's a, a battle. It really is. And you need to be equipped. And the best way to do that, to be equipped, 
is with the transforming of your mind because the biggest battle I feel, I don't know about you, but the biggest battle I feel that I have every day is right here, right here. Um, my mind, my mind, and I really, really, truly have to give things to the Lord. Um, so grasp that, hold it, and use it for yourself. And may the force be forever with you. <laughs> <laughs> all right so remember beautiful people your inner control if you have you have control over yourself that is huge that's something that daily I am having to work on and if I'm having to work on it I'm sure that you are too so that is a part of our power is self-control and it's a gift of the spirit so as I love to tell my children, if they now now when I tell them now when I tell them they're like, yeah, yeah, mom, yeah, yeah. Um, which is choose wisely because your choices will follow you in the tomorrows. I forget how I say it. I say it every day, but yet I forget sometimes how I say it. So be wise. Alright, beautiful people. Thank you for viewing Lydia's Insights. Bye.